Today I'm going to talk about LED light therapy, which stands for light emitting diode. And it has a lot, a lot of benefits. And so today that's what I'm going to be discussing from uh, the shorter lengths to the longer lengths and all the benefits. So let's get started right now. Very quickly, let me introduce myself. My name is Maria from Vancouver, Canada. And uh, first of all, I want to thank for every single person that's been here supporting me throughout this journey. Uh, for the people that do not know me, well, hopefully you will enjoy my content. You will look at all my other tutorials, mainly are educational. You like me, you like my content, and you decide to subscribe. So today I was mentioning that I'm going to talk about LED light. And uh, so very quickly, I'm going to show you a diagram so you have a visual. So this is shows the uh, spectrum of uh, the light, the wavelength. So from the shortest, which is our, the UVR, like the UVA, UVB, UVC. And uh, over here is the infrared, which is the longer, so the short to the longest. So the short one, like UVC, doesn't even come through. So these, these uh, wavelengths come from the sun. So these, uh, this wavelength here, the UVC, does not come through our ozone layer. However, the UVA and UVB does. And these, these are the ones that you have to be very careful by using uh, protection such as sunglasses, hat. I'm not very much with um, uh, sunscreen, but I do believe in mineral makeup. So I have a link below. And But today we're going to be talking about these uh, spectrum over here from blue, green, yellow, and red. The infrared, on the other hand, which is the heat, that is the one that is the longest one, and that's the, the heat, the warmth of the sun. The LED light, it is a therapy that you're using the, uh, the light, the colors of the sun. So it is very exciting because every light has different effects onto the biological reaction of the skin, the body, and that is called photobiomodulation. And this is the heat. Today we're going to be talking more on the red, the yellow, the green, and the blue. Over here would be the UVR. So those are the damaging light uh, rays, so we're not going to talk about those ones today. One of the questions that I get before I start talking uh, of the different colors, I've had a lot of individuals asking me, Maria, but what is the difference between uh, your, uh, the handheld device and the professional? Because I do work with a professional device, which are very expensive, versus a device that I'm going to show you today, which is not that expensive. Of course, the one that you get, the treatments that you get once a week or once a month are more beneficial. However, they're not done frequent enough. With your handheld device, it's not as strong, but you are going to be using it most likely every day or every second day. And of course, you're going to see better results because of the consistency of the treatment. I don't do only this kind of treatment. There's other things that I'm going to talk that you should include together with the light therapy. Okay, so let's get started to talk about these uh, wavelengths. The most popular one is uh, the red one. And uh, it's uh, the deeper one, it goes deeper into the skin, not as deep as the infrared. So let's not get confused between the red and the infrared. However, the uh, wavelength goes deeper into the skin, it brightens the skin, it proliferates or stimulates the collagen fibers production. So that means that it uh, stimulates the fibroblast. Uh, it diminishes the appearance of fine lines, it tightens, it, uh, it reduces damage in the skin, and they say it reverses uh, the uh, aging. So this is the one, there you go. You can see the red. The second most popular is the blue light. And as we remember, the blue light is a shorter wavelength, so it focuses more on the surface of the skin. 
Uh, it helps with uh, the active pimples and breakouts. It uh, kills the bacteria called the QT bacterium acne. However, if it's overused, it may cause hyperpigmentation. But the main focus is to slow down and break down that inflammation. Also, it helps to reduce the activity of uh, the sebaceous glands. You do need to use this lovely blue light, here we go, the blue light, with products. And the products that I uh, encourage is salicylic acid and uh, the niacinamide, and I will have a link below. Yeah. So up to now, we looked at the red LED light and the blue. So as I mentioned, the blue is a shorter wavelength. That's why it works more on the surface of the skin. And the red LED light goes deeper into the skin, not as deep as the infrared. The next one, which is not used that much, but it has so much benefit, is the green light. The green light calms the skin, it uh, balances the skin tone, uh, breaks down the unevenness of the pigmentation production. For hyperpigmentation, age spots, unevenness, cloasma, melasma, all that and actually also works very good for the uh, hyperpigmentation caused by acne. The last one that I want to talk today is the yellow uh, wavelength and it's not used that much. It seems like the, the blue and the red is used the most, uh, the green one somewhat, but the yellow one not so much. But the yellow one has so many benefits that I want to mention. First of all, it's good for all skin types, but mostly it uh, relieves irritation, enhances the immunity into, in the skin. Also, it uh, works with the lymphatic system. So if you do lymph drainage to add the yellow light is phenomenal. Uh, it, uh, so if it works with a lymphatic system, the lymph drainage also very good for if you have swellness uh, and any kind of sensitivity. Now, one of the best thing about this uh, specific light is very good for any kind of irritation, but especially if you experience rosacea, any form of redness, and cuprose. A lot of people get confused between rosacea and cuprose, and I do have a tutorial on that, so please look at it closely. During that tutorial, I did not mention a much, very much about the, or none at all about the, the LED light, but do look at it. Basically what it does, it decreases the size of the vessels, encourages the uh, blood circulation of, uh, uh, of the skin, and it improves uh, the damaged skin caused by the UV rays. Uh, so if you have sensitivity, cuprose and rosacea, this is the light. Ah, sunshine. Thank you so much for still being here with me. I still have a quite a bit of information. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, the next question is, uh, a lot of uh, my students have asked me, Maria, what is the difference between the uh, continuous wavelength versus the pulsed? So I'm gonna show you here for a second. I'm gonna use the uh, red one. So this one here is the pulse. Uh, then there's a little bit faster. And then this is the continuous. So to explain this, when I look at the light source, the light source is continuous. So for my opinion, I think that it is better to apply a continuous. However, from the studies that I've done from reading textbooks and the medical journals, they're saying that when it's pulsating, it may go deeper into the tissue. I am not the creator of uh, these little handheld or my uh, professional LED light. 
So I just go by what the professional and the person that has created that is telling me. But for myself, I see the light out there and I see that it's continuous, it's not blinking away. So I would say for my opinion, to have the continuous flow of a wavelength is the best. These treatments that I talk about all the time are phenomenal. And, but it works better together with all the other different treatments. And I have uh, listed, as you see in these little cards coming through, do look at them because don't only do LED light, do a combination of different treatments. So the one that I talk about quite a bit is uh, the radio frequency, which is uh, the heating of the tissue that is good and you would do that once a month or once every six weeks another one that I feel that's very good is micro needling and again depending on the size of the needle that also you may want to do it every week if you have a very small little needles or every six weeks if you have the needles are a little bit uh, longer that is also very good. Both of them are uh, uh, stimulating the fibroblasts in the skin. Another one that's very good is uh, muscle exercising. And I do have another tutorial that you're actually doing my muscle exercising. Uh, another one that's very good is acupressure because we have pressure points throughout the face. I have a tutorial on that. Um, I have another one. Oh, how to apply a night cream and it shows you all the different kinds of movements between uh, Petrosage de Jaquette, Top Potment, all those things that you can do it every night in conjunction of your LED light. Another one that's very good is the massage of your thyroid and I have also that tutorial. So when you do the conjunction of all these different kinds of treatments, plus the LED light. Now be very careful that you don't overdo it. So if you have any questions how often to do everything, look at that, those tutorials or you can leave a message down below. This light is very, very simple and I will show you this in a moment. And some individuals will say, oh yes, you can use it every night. But why not use different modalities? So one night you do LED light, next night you do another treatment. So you see different things and you will see better results. The other thing that I always mention is to have a good skincare. It is better to use a little bit of something very good versus lots of something that you don't see any results. And the skincare that I do encourage is the NRF2 and there's a link below. So let's start with this LED light. First of all, no scrubs. So you don't want to irritate your skin or uh, peels or, or any type of acids specifically because you don't want to irritate your skin too much. Select your color. So I have uh, the uh, red one because this one here is more anti-aging. For my skin type, I use the red one and sometimes I use the green one for the little age spots and I do use the yellow one because of lymphatic drainage and it's also very good for anti-inflammation. -inflamm My skin is clean, have, I have no foundation and uh, I have applied the NRF2 skincare and I will go back and forth in here in this quadrant and uh, for approximately um, three minutes in this area. Now something that's very essential and very important especially for the blue light is to wear your goggles. So three minutes in this area then of course I have to close my eye here a little bit then three minutes in this and I, what I like to do is to do more of a triangle in this area here so three minutes here fast treatment here and then three minutes in this area so like a triangle and then three minutes in this area here so I get the chin and of course my neck it is a total of three 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 and then three in this area here about 12 to uh, 
uh, 15 minutes if you want to do a little bit longer. If you decide that you want to uh, get a professional treatment, very good. So you would get a professional treatment, let's say once a month, and then you continue with your own little handheld uh, device every week or every couple of days. Okay, so you have better results. Now let's look at the contraindications and who should not do LED light. First of all, if you have melasma and cloasma, be very careful that you do not use the blue light. That's number one. You would use the green light. If you have a severe skin problems or if you use Accutane, be very, it's a contraindicated. Uh, if you have photoactive eczema, because remember, this is light. So, so photo light eczema, you will stimulate it more. If you have any light sensitive medication, uh, proceed with caution. Who should not do this? So first of all, those will work contraindications. Who should not do this treatment is people that have systemic lupus, solar urticaria, you like that? Solar urticaria, light triggering seizures, photosensitive epilepsy, and if you're undergoing any form of uh, radiation or chemotherapy. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. I have. And uh, I hope that you uh, decide to subscribe. Give me questions. Give me thumbs up. And I will talk with you very, very soon.